Michael's Room on Star 101.9. Tonight, Mickey Avalon is in concert. This is one of two shows here in Hawaii, and uh, the show is just a couple of hours away, and uh, we're joined, three shows three in shows. Hawaii. Yeah. We're joined here by uh, the entire lineup of performers tonight at the venue, of course, Mickey Avalon. Mickey, thanks for joining ooh, me. Ooh. What up, Hawaii? Hello. What's up? How you doing? It's good to see you here, man. Thanks for Thank joining you. us. We're having a great time. We've been uh, we were on the North Shore for the last few days, just hanging out with a bunch of our friends, and uh, really excited about the show tonight. Then we go to Maui for two more shows, uh, Saturday and Sunday. That's great, man. A little Hawaii whirlwind tour for you. Yeah, that's great. I, had, I celebrated my birthday out here actually yesterday. So. Oh, congratulations! Happy birthday! Thank you. I was I just turned 19, so. It was great. <laughs> 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 Again. No, I just try to turn 19 every year. If I can stay at that mind state, I'm all right. Cool. It's how, it's how, it's how old you are mentally more yeah, than physically these exactly. days anyway. Now, you've been busy. You've been uh, working on your new album, and yeah. uh, it's it's almost done. you got a, you got a new video coming out. Yep. Tell me about that. Uh, I've been, you know, I've, I've been working on the album for a while, and, the, you know, it, I w it seems like it's taken forever, but it's, it's coming, it's, you know, coming really good, and it's almost done. Uh, I work with a bunch of different people. Uh, I just did a song with Perry Farrell, and I did a song with Katy Perry, and just a bunch of different people. And and uh, I got a new video for a song called F and Them All that they're gonna play. Uh, they're gonna play the song here today. And we did, Nick Goosen did the video, so he directed a movie called Grandma's Boy. He did the 1980 video. Uh, he did a bunch of Beardos videos. Beardos the opening act. Uh, Hello. Tonight. He's here. Say what up? What up, Hawaii? So yeah, he was on tour with me. We just got back from a little tour. This is this we call it, uh, the uh, Aloha tour. I guess it's pretty <laughs> not pretty easy, but you know we couldn't think of a better name. So it's good. Now you partnered. You said you partnered up with a, a, a bunch of different musicians for your new album. Uh, you mentioned Perry Farrell. Uh, you mentioned Katy Perry. And uh, now you worked with uh, with the producer of uh, some other great albums too, Dr. Luke. Yeah. Uh, tell yeah. me about that experience. Uh well. It took, you know, it was sometimes fun, sometimes not, <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, like, we kind of, you know, we still take, like, an underground approach to things, which is, you know, the way we do it, but uh, to get to, you know, to get more fans and to get to a, a wider amount of people, we work with, you know, Dr. Luke, because he, he makes a lot of songs that are good on the radio, and without having a radio song, you can only go, you know, so far, and... And, uh, you know, we'd like to be able to travel for his class one day. <laughs> so, we, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. There's no, I mean, we couldn't be, we couldn't be pop, too pop, even if we tried. So we thought, you know, maybe we can get, like, a more polished sound musically. And, you know, we still kind of, like I said, it's still pretty edgy stuff. Now, you, you uh, it's a different experience when you take your own music and the stuff that, uh, that you've created and then you hand it over to someone else to do the finishing touches on it. Is there... Is there some trepidation well, we work to, as you we do work that? Together. I mean, I thought actually, that's actually more what I was planning on doing, because I, I, I actually never stopped recording, and always recording in different people's houses, you know, more like, I'd say like, maybe demos, and I thought I'd get to him and we re we'd re-record a lot of them, but we didn't really do that, we, we like started from scratch, so, uh, you know, it was frustrating a lot of times, I, sometimes I just wanted, like I said, just redo stuff I already wrote, but because I had to push myself, it ended up being better, and, and you know, everyone's, everyone's waiting, but it, it will be out soon, and, and, I, and I, I haven't stopped touring, so I'm, I'm getting to as many places I, as I can get without having a new record out, because that's really, you know, once you have a new record, then the, then the record label gets, you know, puts you on tour and all that, but without that, you know, you have to come out of pocket to, you know, to get a bus, to get all this stuff, so... You know, you hope. You know, it's hard to do that without without a new record. So uh, I've I've done my I've with the amount of, and and you know, no one wants to hear anyone whine about like record label politics or anything. But it, it will be out as, as soon as possible. You know, like at the beginning of the year. You know, summer latest, I'd say. Okay. Now on your website, you offer uh, mixtape downloads. Yep. Uh, we where, have, where that was another thing. Yeah. So uh, again. Uh, We've done everything in our power that we could possibly do. Because the record's taking forever, uh, me and my crew, which is uh, me, Dirt Nasty, Andre Legacy, Beardo, uh, we have a crew called Dyslexic Speed Readers. We put out a, a free mixtape. It's got, like I believe, 20 songs on it. 
you can download it for free on all of our uh, websites. Uh, I think you can press a button on most of our MySpaces, and uh, and you can, yeah, twenty songs for free. So, you know, that's we were like you know. We also we, pressed two thousand of them to give out. We for pressed two thousand to give to our street teams to give out at shows to sign. So I mean, we we there is new material. None of us it's like none of us sort of got lazy. None of us we're all, we are in the studio. Uh, we set up portable studios pretty much everywhere we go. So, you know, we're we're making tons of new songs. Most of uh, our guys are all also producers. I don't I don't make any beats, but Beardo makes his own music. Dirt Nasty makes beats. Uh, so uh, my DJ Mackey, he's you know he produces a lot of my songs. So. Uh, you know, everyone's always recording music everywhere we go. It's just, you know, for a record, you got to take ten perfect, you know, ten songs. Now I'm on like a big record label, so you know, there's just, there's, there's, there's like red, a lot of red tape and a lot of politics. But it's, you know, no one, no one likes to hear about that. It's not very glamorous stuff. All right. Well, then, uh, tell tell me about the tour. And uh, you surrounded yourself with some great musicians on your tour here. Uh, even even Hawaii, I mean, you, you brought Beardo with you. you, you uh, uh, it seems like you just you surround yeah. yourself with a lot of talent. Beardo's here. Uh, we have a band called The Pricks that are from uh, what, Newport. No, see, yeah. Yeah. No, Costa Mesa. Yeah, I guess. Uh, and they're good friends with us. And they all they all flew out here. Uh, they got a bunch of guys. They, they had to buy their own plane tickets and stuff. You know, we just uh, we all just like to play and uh, you know. And it's not a bad person to open up for either. Right. <laughs> yeah, the shows the aren't so fans. bad. Yeah, we got good fans. Uh, yeah. We got a lot of, lot of girls come to the show. So, I yeah. mean, I always tell people, even if you don't dig what I do, just come for the chicks, you know. So, <laughs> so I mean, and, and Hawaii's got, like, you know, some of the most beautiful girls. I don't, I don't look at any of them because I don't want to get in any trouble. I always <laughs> tell, whenever I bring my friends to Hawaii, I always say, uh, all the girls here are one of three things. They're either are somebody's girl, was somebody's girl, or someone wants them to be their girl. And you know, there's something <laughs> like I don't know. I don't want to get I don't want to get beat up and barred from the island forever. <laughs> so I just I don't even I don't even. At Steve, we're gonna we're gonna go make an allotment of Mickey girls for you. We're just yeah, yeah. Put some on the side. We're Maybe yeah, they could do like a touch. stamp on their hands yeah, and like we'll make sure that availability. Not. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean sometimes even like I'll I'll, ki I'll like kiss a lot of girls in the front row and sometimes and even that sometimes like as I'm coming down I'm like I hope this big guy that's Standing right behind this girl is her brother uh, <laughs> and not her boyfriend. Well, tonight's the night. Uh, the show is going to be at Pipeline Cafe. Uh, the doors are at uh, The doors are doors at, at eight. 8. show is at 9. And uh, there's two opening acts. There's uh, Yeah, the and, and, and everyone's playing a full set. So, I mean, we got... We got a, a nice, you know, a few hours worth of music. Uh, I don't know if the DJ's spinning in between the sets. I'm sure they are, Free but uh, there's gonna be what product give. There's gonna be a product giveaway uh, of Ruka. Um, with Ruka's sponsoring the event. Uh, Von Zipper sponsoring the event. All the, you know, pretty much every pro surfer is gonna be there. Uh, because uh, everyone's here, you know, for pipe and for sunset and everything. So all the surfers are going to be there. Uh, we got a MySpace letter that said like all the all the soldiers that are are here are going to be. There. <laughs> That's great. So uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting cool. evening. It should be a great show. There are tickets still available. Yeah, tickets uh, are. It's there's uh, they're going fast, but there is still a bunch of them left. So don't don't let uh, fear of it being sold out stop you from coming out. There's it's a huge place and and they can. Keep you know, they can get a few thousand people in there, so don't worry about that. Nice. Should be a good show then tonight. Mickey yeah. Avalon, it's an all-ages show, under 18 with adult. Get your mm -hmm. tickets at the door. Yeah. Uh, see Beardo, The Pricks, Mickey Avalon, all in concert tonight at Pipeline Cafe. Brought to you by Ruka, Von Zipper, BAMP, and BJPen.com. I see BJ Penn call me earlier this week asking uh, where oh, to really? get tickets. That's awesome. so, <laughs> pretty cool. cool. And yeah, and if you're not uh, 21 and you'd like to drink, get a fake ID. Or a uh, brown paper bag. <laughs> no, just kidding. Well, actually, let's do this. We do have some VIP passes to give away. Okay. The last three wristbands. Okay. Uh, so that was gonna... another thing with this there, with this show. There wasn't a list, a uh, guest list or anything. They just gave us some of those uh, of those wristbands. So. Okay. Yeah, we have three, three to give uh, away. So yeah. we'll just. Uh, Pretty we'll girls apply here. We'll <laughs> take the three callers right now. Two nine six one zero one nine, and uh, we'll let you give those away to them. Okay. First.